I'm Amanda from the blog Simply Maggie where I bring you all of the latest arm knitting tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to make the cable stitch. Cable stitch is a really really pretty stitch that you can now do with your arms as the needles and here is one thing I made using the cable stitch. This is a pillow obviously <laughs> and you can see here the detail of the cable. Another pillow I made is this one here, just a little bit larger. So with this one I used Premier Yarns Couture Jazz yarn in the color tan. With this pillow, the pink one, I used Premier Yarns um, Craft Tea yarn in the peach shades. And um, the patterns for these will be on my blog, so if you head to simplymaggie.com, click on knit and crochet, you'll find the um, exact pattern that you need. How many stitches, how many rows, um, but today I'm going to show you how to actually arm knit the cable stitch and sew the sides of the pillow together. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into what we're going to need for today. So what you're going to need to make the cable stitch is super bulky yarn and I like to use multiple strands because the fuller you make it, the better the cable stitch looks. So what I have here is four skeins of the Premier Yarns Craft Tea yarn, okay? And I pull one strand from the outside of each skein to have four strands all together. You're also going to need a pipe cleaner, and I'll show you why in the tutorial. And you're also going to need any type of bag. I have a cotton one here. You're going to put all the skeins inside the bag so it's easy for you to flip them from the front of your work to the back of your work. Um, that way you can purl and knit stitches easily. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Okay, so I have all of my skeins of yarn in my bag and I've pulled about four feet from all four skeins of yarn. And now what you want to do is make a slip knot, which is going to count as your first stitch. So um, drape the yarn over your hand like I have done here, and then you're going to pinch the two sides together, twist this with your hand in there, and grab the working yarn, which are the strands that are attached to, attached to the skeins of yarn. All right, so you have your slip knot, and you can go ahead and put that onto your right arm. Tighten that up. So now we have the tail of yarn, which is closer to us, and we have the working yarn, which is farther away from us. The working yarn is the yarn that's attached to the skeins of yarn. So now we want to begin casting on our stitches. To cast on your stitches, you want to hold the working yarn over your index finger, in between your index and middle finger. Turn your hand and hold it in place with your ring finger and pinky. And then you're going to take the tail of yarn and you're going to also grab it with your ring finger and your pinky. And you're going to wrap your thumb around the inside of that strand of yarn. And it's going to go around the outside of your thumb. So just like that. Okay? And now we're going to begin casting on. So take your index finger on your right hand. You're going to go under this one, over this strand, and grab the strand in the back. So I'll show you how. You go under the first one, over the one in the middle, and grab the strand in the back. Okay, and pull up that new loop that you've made. Put your hand in there and slide it onto your right arm. Tighten that up, and let's do that again. Okay, hold the yarn like I showed you. Take your index finger, go under, over, and grab this one. So under, over, and grab the one in the back, pulling up this new loop here, and you're going to put your hand in there and put it onto your arm. So that's three stitches, and we're going to do a total of 14 stitches for this pink pillow. So go ahead and do that again. Under, over, grab the one in the back, put your hand in the new loop under, over, grab the strand in the back, pulling up, up a new loop, and put your hand in there. Okay, so now we have five. I'm going to go ahead and cast on the rest of my stitches. I 
finished casting on my 14 stitches and now we're going to begin arm knitting. So you're no longer going to need the tail of yarn. Now you're going to need the working yarn. The first thing we're going to do is purl three stitches. So on our first row, we're going to purl three stitches and I'll show you how to do that. You're going to knit eight stitches and you're going to purl the last three stitches. So let's purl our first three. So what you want to do is hold the working yarn in your right hand, take that first stitch and pull it over and off of your hand while still holding the working yarn. You've now created this new loop. You're going to turn that towards yourself and place it onto your left arm. And to tighten that up, it's usually kind of tricky with the first stitch because you go to pull on that working yarn doesn't really do much. So you want to push that knot up while pulling on the working yarn to tighten that first stitch. Now to purl your stitches, you want to have the working yarn in the back of your work, closer to you. So you're going to take your right hand and you're going to grab the working yarn and pull it towards the back of your work. Okay, so now the working yarn is in the back of your work, closer to you, and you can purl your next stitch. So you're going to take that second stitch while holding the working yarn in your right hand. Take that second stitch and pull it over and off of your hand and over that working yarn, creating that new loop. You're going to turn that towards yourself and place it onto your left arm and pull the working yarn to tighten that stitch. Remember to keep the working yarn in the back of your work closer to you while you're purling. So we're going to do one more purl, take that next stitch, pull it over your hand and off, and you've created a new loop again. So you're going to turn that towards yourself and place it onto your left arm. Go ahead and move those stitches up your arm. So this is why we have our skeins of yarn in a bag, because now we can easily pick them up and flip them over our work to the front. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Pick up your bag of yarn, like I have here. I have my bag of yarn with all of my skeins in it, and I'm just going to flip it and set it back down on the floor. So now our working yarn is in the front of our work, further away from us. So now what you want to do is knit eight stitches. So hold the working yarn in your right hand again. Take that next stitch there and pull it over and off of your hand while holding the working yarn. You now have this new loop. Turn that towards yourself and place it onto your left arm. Tighten it up. And do that again. Over and off while holding the working yarn, creating a new loop. Turn that towards yourself and place it onto your left arm. I'm just going to pull some yarn out of my bag here. Okay, tighten it up. And we're going to do that six more times. six. So now we have three stitches left and we have to purl these three stitches. So now you want to move the working yarn to the back of your work closer to you to purl your stitches again. So pick up your bag of yarn and you're going to flip it to the back of your work and set it back down on the floor. And now your working yarn is in the back of your work. So now you want to purl three stitches. So while still holding the working yarn in your right hand, take the next stitch and pull it over and off of your hand, creating a new loop and place that onto your left arm. Tighten it up. Do that two more times. So that was our first row, three purls, eight knit stitches, and another three purls. So now we're going to do the same thing in our second row. The only difference is we're going to be moving our stitches from our left arm to our right arm. So this time hold the working yarn in your left hand, take that first stitch, pull it over and off your hand while holding the working yarn, turn that towards yourself, and place it onto your 
Tighten that stitch by pushing the knot up and pulling on the working yarn. And now you want to grab the working yarn and pull it to the back of your work because we're purling the first three stitches. So the next stitch, pull it over and off of your hand while holding the working yarn and put that new stitch onto your right arm. One more time, over and off with the working yarn in the back of your work, making a new stitch and placing it on to your right arm. And I've moved the stitches up my arm a little bit. Now we need to knit eight stitches. So we're gonna pick up our bag of yarn, flip it to the front of our work so that we can knit our stitches. So to knit your stitch, you have your working yarn in the front of your work. Go ahead and grab that next stitch and pull it over and off of your hand, creating a new loop. Turn that towards yourself and place it onto your right arm. So that's one. You wanna do that seven more times. Two. Three. And now we need to purl these three stitches on our left arm. So we're going to pick up that bag of yarn again and flip our skeins to the back of our work. So now the working yarn is in the back of our work. So let's go ahead and purl these three stitches. One, two, Three. So that's two rows of arm knitting, and now we're going to begin our cable stitch. So you're going to need your pipe cleaner for this row. We're going to purl three stitches, so go ahead and do that. Remember to keep your working yarn in the back of your work. So there's one, two, and three. And now we need to move our working yarn to the front of our work so we can knit stitches and slip stitches and I'll show you how to do that. So go ahead and move your working yarn to the front of your work. And what we're gonna do now is slip four stitches off of our arm and onto our pipe cleaner. So to do that, we have our pipe cleaner. You're just gonna put it behind the stitch and slip it off without twisting it. So there's one, two, three. So we have our four stitches on our pipe cleaner. We're gonna twist the pipe cleaner so they don't fall off. And we're going to take the stitches on the pipe cleaner and hang them in the back of our work closer to us. Okay, so leave those there for a minute while you knit four stitches from this arm to your left arm. There's one, two, three, four. Now you want to take the pipe cleaner and the stitches that you had hanging in the back of your work and you want to put them back onto the arm that you slipped them off of. So under your pipe cleaner, take that first stitch, without twisting it, take it off of the pipe cleaner and put it back on to your right arm. Just like that. And do that with the other three stitches. There's three. All right, so now you're done with your pipe cleaner for a few rows, so you can put that down. You're now going to knit those four stitches over to your left arm, just like you did with the other four. So there's one, two, three, 
and four. Now we're going to purl those next three stitches. So pick up your skeins of yarn in your bag and flip the working yarn to the back to the back of your work closer to you. And go ahead and purl those next three stitches as I showed you. So that was our third row and now we're going to move on to our fourth row. For the fourth row, all you need to do is purl three, knit eight, and purl three stitches. So go ahead and purl three. One. Remember to have your working yarn in the back of your work when you're purling. There's three. Now you want to knit your eight stitches. So pick up your bag of yarn, flip it to the front to knit your eight stitches. One, two, three, and eight. So now we want to flip our skeins of yarn to the back of our work and purl three stitches. One, two, three. So we've completed our fourth row, and now we want to move on to our fifth row. So go ahead and purl three, knit eight, and purl, th purl three, remembering to move your working yarn from the front to the back when you want to purl, and from the back to the front when you want to knit your stitches. So I've completed five rows, and now we're going to move on to our sixth row, and for this one we're going to need our pipe cleaner. Okay, so go ahead and purl your first three stitches. And three. Flip your working yarn to the front of your work. Now that your working yarn is in the front of your work, you're going to slip four stitches off of your arm and onto your pipe cleaner. So one, two, three, And four. So we have our four stitches on our pipe cleaner. Go ahead and twist that so they don't fall off. And this time we're going to hold our stitches on our pipe cleaner in the front of our work. So hang those in the front of your work. Grab your working yarn and knit these four stitches on your left arm. Okay, now pick up the pipe cleaner and slip those four stitches on the pipe cleaner back on to your left arm. The arm that you slipped them off of. And try not to twist them. So we have one, two,
And you're not going to need this for a few rows, so you can put your pipe cleaner away. So now you're going to go ahead and grab the working yarn and knit those four stitches that you just slipped back onto your left arm. So there's one, two, three, and four. So now we need to purl those last three stitches on our left arm. So go ahead and flip the working yarn to the back of your work to purl your stitches. And purl your last three stitches on your left arm. One, two, and three. So that was our sixth row, and now we're going to move on to our seventh and eighth rows. And for those, we're just going to purl three, knit eight, and purl three. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're moving on to row nine after doing two rows of purling and knitting. So we're gonna need the pipe cleaner for this row. You're going to first purl your first three stitches. So go ahead and purl your first three. One, two, three. And now we want to slip those next four stitches onto a pipe cleaner, but first we want to move our working yarn to the front of our work. Now take your pipe cleaner and slip those next four stitches onto the pipe cleaner. Two, three, and four. Twist your pipe cleaner so they don't fall off. And now this time we're going to take those four stitches and hold them in the back of our work closer to us. Okay, now take your working yarn and knit the next four stitches that are on your right arm. Two, three, Okay, so I've knitted four stitches. Now you wanna take the pipe cleaner, untwist it, and slip those four stitches back on to your right arm, the arm that you slipped them off of. So, without tangling or twisting your stitches, take them off of your pipe cleaner and put them back on to your right arm. So there is one, and that's two. three, four. And you're all done with your pipe cleaner. So go ahead and now knit those four stitches that you just put back onto your right arm. One, two, three, and four. And now we're going to purl the last three stitches on our right arm. So move your working yarn to the back of your work and purl them. One, two, and three. So that was nine rows of the cable stitch. It's kind of hard to see the detail when it's on your arm, but once you take it off and lay it flat, you can really see the detail of the cable. So now what I'm gonna do is knit, use the basic knit stitch for the next six rows. So I've done nine rows of cable, and now I'm going to just knit 
for six rows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and when I come back you'll see what I have. So this is what we have. I did a total of six rows in the knit stitch. And now I'm gonna bind off. To bind off, you do it the same as you would do with any other arm knitting project. You knit two stitches over to your other arm. And then you take the first stitch, pull it over the second stitch and off of your hand. You want to bind off loosely, you don't want to tighten it too much. Then you knit one, and you pull the first one over the second one and off of your hand. Then you knit one, pull the first one over the second one and off of your hand, and you do that across the entire row. Remembering not to tighten too much because then you'll have one end that's smaller than the other end. And then once you come to this last loop, you're going to grab that working yarn, pull it through, cut this here, and then pull it all the way through. Okay? So I'm going to show you now what we have. And I'm going to turn the camera around and lay this flat on something so I can show you the detail. Okay guys, so this is what we have, and you can see the really pretty detail here on the front of the cable. And I have my pillow inside. It's a white pillow, as you can see. You can kind of see it through the holes. So if you wanted to do a pillow that was the same color as the yarn, that would be a great idea. So I've already sewn up one side, let's see, here, all along here. You can sew it inside out if you want, but with this pillow, I'm just going to sew it um, with the pillow inside of it. So to finish sewing it up, we're going to take four strands, one from each skein of yarn. And now we're going to attach these to the pillow. So to attach these, one way to do it is to pull a loop through two stitches. Okay. And we're going to pull a long bunch of yarn from the skeins so that we can use it to sew our pillow. Now you're going to pull that through, that loop you just made, pull it all the way through and tighten it. So I'm going to go through my next stitch here 
and the stitch on the bottom and pull it through. It'll get easier as you go along. Right, and we're gonna do that again. Okay, so I've completed this edge and now we're going to move on to the side, the smaller side. So continue with that same strand of yarn that we're using and grab a stitch there and down there and pull it through. Make a loop here and pull that all the way through to create a knot. Tighten that up and you're going to cut it a few inches away so that you can tuck those pieces into your pillow. Do the same thing over here, just tuck them in. Alright, and now you're going to go around the pillow. You can see how it's kind of stretched right here, it's stretched over here a little bit. So you can go and just kind of tug on this and fill in where you need to fill it in. Okay. So that is what we have. All right guys, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, I will be back with more arm knitting stitches and patterns, so be sure to subscribe to um, my channel. Just hit the subscribe button down below, and be sure to visit simplymaggie.com where I have all different kinds of DIY projects and um, lessons and just little everyday things with me and my puppies. And um, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm. What are you whining about, Remy? <laughs> Bless you. I with the cable stitch. But for now, I hope you, um... Rem, really? So we've completed our fourth row, and now we want to move on to our fifth row, and it's going to be the same thing as row four. Four.